Hey guys, I know it's been like a super long time since I've uploaded a video and I'm really sorry about that. And this video is going to be kind of weird. It's definitely going to be something different. I'm going to take my glasses off because you're not going to be able to see me. But I received a package from my cousin in Norway. Which is with a bunch of treats with a list of all the treats that she sent me. And so I promised that I would do a video taste test of everything that she sent me um, so she can get my reactions. And I figured I'd share them here so everybody else can get my reactions as well. Um, here's the thing. I don't know how to pronounce everything, so I'm probably going to butcher a lot of these words. And I apologize in advance to anyone who's offended by me butchering them. But um, there are a few things that require bread. So I have a piece of just plain white bread because that's all I have um, for me to try those on. And I do have some water that you guys are going to see me drinking um, because I'm going to try to eat something and then drink a little bit of water to try to get the taste from right out of my mouth before I try the next thing. Um, but I'm going to start. I have her little thing here that she sent me. Um, there, I think I have about 15 things to try. And, um, I apologize if you can hear the cars driving down the road. They turn ship to my road. So every car that go by, goes by, I can hear them perfectly. But anyway, um, I'm going to attempt to pronounce these things correctly. Um, and I will, um, tell you a little bit. I'll read a little bit of what she wrote for me, too, um, as I try them. The first thing I have is this right here, and it is a liver pate, and it's first one of the things that go on bread, and I'm really worried about this because I have never tried a liver pate in my whole entire life. So, <laughs> this could be interesting. There's a knife somewhere. I'm gonna get my knives. Oh, they're over here. I do have knives so I can put them on the bread. And I'm going to. It does say, it says spread it on a piece of bread. And some just eat it like that. And then some people put it on cucumber. But I'm just going to eat it on bread because I do not have cucumber. And I'm only going to do a small piece because I have a lot to taste. And. It kind of smells like a. As weird as this is, it kind of smells like a Vienna sausage. So I'm not as... Or um, canned ham, like the deviled ham, is kind of what it smells like. So, I have it on there. Let's see. Um, here we go. It's not bad. It does just taste like, it tastes like deviled ham to me. A little bit stronger. Um, but I also really like liver and onions, so it doesn't bother me. But definitely not bad. I would be willing to eat that again. And I promise, guys, I'm going to give you my honest opinions. Like, if I really don't like something, I'll be honest. <laughs> but I am, like, the least picky person I know. <clears throat> I pretty much eat everything. With the exception of, like, a very few things. Like, I don't really like black-eyed peas. I don't like French onion soup. And I don't really like, um, French dip sandwiches. And I think those are, the last two are texture things. I don't like wet bread. Anyway. Okay. This one... And the liver were the two that I was the most worried about. This one is, it says that it is 
basically fish and tomato sauce and to spread it on a piece of bread to eat it. Um, so. I'm worried about this one. And I'm weird, so I smell everything. So the smell doesn't bother me of that one. <clears throat> I also have a little bit of a cold. So my taste isn't 100% on par, but I think I can taste everything. I've eaten some things today to make sure that I could have, that I could taste. Okay. A little bit of my bread. Like I said, that says that it is a it's stabur mackerel. So it's base it says basically fish and tomato sauce. So <laughs> on my bread. <laughs> It honestly just tastes like eating tuna with tomato sauce. Like, not ketchup, because it's not sweet, sweet, sweet like ketchup. Where sweet the ketchup has that, like, kind of sweet and tangy taste. It doesn't have that taste. It's like eating tuna with tomato paste. Not bad. So far, I've liked everything I've tried. My cousin did good. I am saving. I'm doing all the stuff on the bread first so my bread doesn't get hard and gross because <clears throat> then it'll make everything I taste on it not good. So I don't want to do that. So I'm doing, I'm probably going to do everything that's bread related first, and then I will probably go to non-chocolate candy, and then chocolate candy. That'll probably be the order I do this in. Wait, right, so this is, it's skinkoist, I know that that's hoist, that's cheese. I did know that word whenever I read it. Um, it's soft cheese with ham, and it says you spread it on a piece of bread, and it comes, she said it comes in different tastes, ham, bacon, shrimp, and chicken, and this one's ham. So it's got a little metal piece, and then the top has that, which is handy. How handy is this? So... Anyway, I'm going to open it. Oh, <laughs> it smells good. So I also promised that if this, that if I had stuff I felt like sharing with my Girl Scouts, I would share with them on our meeting, which is Thursday. So they might get to try some of this stuff on Thursday. If I'm feeling nice. Or maybe Friday. Um so just put a little bit on my bread. Spread it. I'm gonna take a drink of water again. It is on my bread. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little bit on there. It smells 
like the inside of a hot pocket. <laughs> I'm I, I'm sorry, guys, but I'm trying to think of things that my friends here in America would be able to relate to with uh, the different things that I'm trying. So I'm trying to help you guys out. Um, here it goes. This is, and this is actually a pretty big tube. Like, I mean, it's my hand. It's a big, pretty big tube. So. Oh, wow. I really like that. I really, really like that. I like that a lot more than I thought I would like that. Sorry guys, it's really weird to watch people eat. I'm sorry about that, but anyway, you get more honest reactions by watching. Anyway, I really like that. So far of the three, I liked all of them, but I think this is my favorite. Like this is something that'd be really good because I camp and I hike and I do all that. This would be really good to take with some crackers, I think, for hiking purposes which I'm gonna get to more hiking stuff later okay and then the last of my bread related things is this right here and it's nougati and it is <clears throat> I googled it because I thought that it looked like it was um probably um hazelnutty and it is, excuse me. Um, but I Googled it because I thought maybe it was like Nutella, and it is like Nutella. It's like um, the Norwegian version of Nutella. So. This one I probably will definitely take for my Girl Scouts to try. Because. The girls all like eating Nutella sandwiches. So, I'm thinking Nutella. So, I'm going to spread that on some bread. And oddly enough, I did eat a Nutella sandwich this weekend. So, I know what Nutella and bread tastes like. So, I'll know in comparison. And this is what it looks like on my bread. It's just a smooth chocolate spread. So. Oh, wow. Oh, I really like that. That might go to Girl Scouts. That might not. It might not make it that long. Oh, that's so good. That was very, very good. So, out of the four I've already tried, this and this so far have been my favorites. But I like them all a lot. I, have, I haven't had anything I disliked. Okay. So since this is on top, we'll go with it first. This one, where are they? <clears throat> it's Laban, 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 Segman, and they're sugar covered jelly men. And they come in pineapple, raspberry, apple, and lemon flavors. Open it up. They 
maybe if I open it. Alright, there we go. Okay. So this one's a raspberry. I don't know if I said orange earlier. First one was raspberry. This one's orange. Hmm. I think this one is probably the pineapple, the green green. I think this one's the apple. Definitely the apple. the lemon those are good I like those a lot and they're really soft <clears throat> which is fun because sometimes gummy candy gets really hard and that one is not hard at all okay and then I have I don't <clears throat> take a drink actually I'm gonna do this next and then I have Gomp, which is jelly beans. And it looks like there's two colors in here. That's what it looks like. The pink and the yellow. Let's see them. Okay. So, I'll do yellow first. I'm not sure on the flavor, but I like it. I don't know what either flavor was. I liked them both, though. They were different than like our normal um, jelly beans here. Okay. So the next thing I have is Thunder Salt, which is a salty licorice. I like salt, so this could be fun. I am a fan of salt, so. Oh. Hmm. 
I'm not sure. It is very salty. It reminds me of something. I'm not sure what. I don't know what it reminds me of. Hmm. The salt taste doesn't stay forever either. But it also is not like it doesn't taste like what licorice here tastes like, if that makes sense. Like it's a different taste. So this is my next one. Sorry. <clears throat> this is my next one. And it is a hot licorice. <clears throat> so we will. See, and then I'm moving on. So this one smells like licorice to me. That one did not smell like, like, this one smells like what licorice here smells like to me. Like black jelly bean. So. Oh, just in case you wanted to know, these are vegan. Excuse me. Hiccup works. Okay, so like this and it is supposed to be a hot licorice like spicy hot so let's see this could be interesting why oh, so it tastes like a black jelly bean with a kick but I don't just like it but I like je black jelly beans so I like this one a lot. Like this may be my new cold candy. <laughs> I like that a lot.
I can't tell if it's a little salty too or if I'm still salty from the other one but it is a little hot it's not killing me though I'm gonna finish it later though because I'm gonna run out of time sorry I covered that up but I want to open put something in my mouth with my camera anyway I'm gonna finish that one after for the rest of this stuff because I don't want this video to be an hour long. So, this one, it's pretty straightforward. Milk, milk chocolate, which is milk chocolate. And this letter from my cousin says that it's the best in the world. And I've actually heard several times that Norwegian chocolate is one of the best in the world. So, we're about to put that to the test. I love me some chocolate. So, gonna open this up. Okay. And it's like the perfect time of the year for her to send me this because my chocolate didn't get all melty in the mail. Okay. So, I'm going to break a piece off. And I'm going to eat it. That was delicious. <laughs> like, probably one of the best chocolates I've ever had in my life. If not the best. Like, the truffly inside deliciousness of a lint chocolate, better than that. Like, that is better than the inside of a lint. And then this is a Frick Lover, same brand, it's also milk chocolate, but this one has hazelnut, and I love chocolate with hazelnut also, so, <clears throat> let's open it up, and I don't think I'm going to take a whole square, just because I have time, but there's my chocolate. That was also really, really good. Like, really, really, really good. Okay. So, I'm at this one. And this is a smash bar. And it says it's milk chocolate with crunchy and salty corn snacks. So, I'm going to open it up. I don't want to open it all the way up because I'm definitely not all eat eating all of this tonight. Some of it's going to have to go into the fridge for other days this week or to share with my Girl Scouts so or other people, my friends. Oh, I took kind of a bit of that, but that's what the inside of it looks like. It smells good. Are these all? No. This one's made by Nidar. Okay. So, 
There it is. Hmm. Oh my god. That was so good. I really am a fan of like the sweet salty combination and that was like the perfect mix with a little bit of crunch and it was perfect and it was delicious and I loved it. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have a really hard time picking a favorite. Because I think I like all of this. I think I would gain 150,000 pounds if I lived in Norway. Because everything is delicious. <laughs> okay. So, this is... I think it's a diam, but I'm not sure. Like I said, probably pronouncing this wrong. I'm very sorry. This says that it is milk chocolate with a crunchy center and that contains 3% almonds. So, just gonna open it up, pop it piece off. It kind of looks like a Heath bar, honestly. It's very much like our, like a Heath bar. Um, very, um, uh, similar flavor profile. There's troy troika, troika, I don't know. And this is dark chocolate with marzipan, truffle, and jelly. I kind of messed it up when I was pulling it out, but I also really like that one. That one tastes like eating Valentine's candy. Two more for you guys. This. Vic maybe? Anyway, this one, it says it's, she says it's almost their national chocolate for hiking. It's very typical to bring this along when we are out hiking. 
Along with this chocolate, we usually bring lunch, oranges, and hot chocolate, especially in winter times. And she said, as we say in Norway, Norwegians are born with skis on their feet, and Vikulansh is a must in our back, must have in our backpack. So, <clears throat> to me, every time I've seen this, it's kind of looked like a Kit Kat bar, like Norway's Kit Kat. Very much looks on the outside like a Kit Kat at least, and on the inside. Oh, it's honestly like a better quality Kit Kat bar. Like the chocolate is so much better on that than a Kit Kat. And the crunchy tastes better than a Kit Kat. But it's like the same concept as a Kit Kat. But it's definitely much better than a Kit Kat. I promise. So. That just leaves these, <clears throat> which my cousin didn't know when she sent them to me, but I've had a little bit of a cold. So these are probably going to come in handy. These are um, menthol and eucalyptus flavored. This is called Fisherman's Friend, and they are cough drops. They are strong cough drops. And this is the last thing I have to try for you guys. So... And I've almost finished a whole bottle of water doing this. So. Just open those up. Whew. I'm pretty sure this actually says they're strong cough drops. And I can smell them. And they're very strong. And they look like this. Holy wow. I really like these. Like... My throat's kind of felt scratchy all day, and my throat does not feel scratchy at all right now. And though they're strong, they're strong in a good way, not strong in a gross way. Like, not strong like original hauls that taste horrible, but... I'm very much a fan. Of these like this will definitely be going into my purse as a helper during this uh, cold season <clears throat> until I run out and then I'll have to figure out a way to get more I guess but um yeah so that is my video Ooh, my computer's kind of up. that was my video um I guess I'm gonna pick a few of my very favorites. I honestly loved everything that I tried, but if I had to pick some favorites, this is probably my most shocking favorite. Like, this was the one that I was the most shocked by really, really enjoying. I don't really know why, but like, 
I think it was just because I wasn't sure what to expect. And it, like, met plus exceeded my expectations. But like I said, I did like the other, the uh, mackerel, and I liked the liver pate. And then this one, obviously, I really liked. I honestly think I might like this better than Nutella. Um, and then of the candy, I liked all the chocolate, honestly, a lot. This one, the smash, and this one, oops, I'm kidding. This one were my very favorites, and I also really loved the hot licorice, but I really enjoyed everything, and um, since this video is technically so my cousin can see it, I just want to tell her thank you so very, very much for sending me all of this to try. I really enjoyed it, and I truly, truly appreciate it, um, and I love you very, very much, and thank you guys all for watching. Um, hopefully I'll start uploading other videos very soon. Um, I, um, have just been very busy. This has been a very busy last few months. Like, my summer got extra busy, and that's what happens sometimes. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, bye.